Gentlemen, you're listening to Financial Survival, sponsored by Discount Gold and Silver Trading. I'm Melody Cedarstrom, and thank you for joining us this afternoon. And it's a Friday, and it's the 4th of September, 2009, right before the three-day labor holiday. So we will be we will be closed on Monday, and there will be luckily there'll be no program on Monday. But we'll have a live program Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So uh, you can tune in. This program will be replayed on Monday. So hope you all have a great weekend. Discount Gold and Silver Trading, 1-800-375-4188. Folks, you know, it's Friday. We need some of your questions to come through. We want to know how many listeners we have out there. There's lots of things going on in the news. And uh, um, so... Send us over your questions at discountgoldandsilver at yahoo.com. Discountgoldandsilver at yahoo.com. And we'll, we'll answer any question today. It doesn't have to be just on gold or silver or, or economics or, you know, it can be anything. So send us your questions, discountgoldandsilver at yahoo.com. Um, one more thing I want to remind those who live here in Pennsylvania, and of course, any anyone can call and uh, to have the senators Jane Earl and John Wozniak uh, again support the exemption of sales tax on bullion and investment coins. So you want to call them, and I have these numbers, but you can call your state senator for Pennsylvania and House representative to oppose any reinstatement of the sales tax on bullion and investment coins. And uh, two of the senators that sponsored the exemption in 2006 was Senator Jane Earle at 814-453-2515, And then Senator John Wozniak at 814-266-2277. So come on, folks, flood their line and uh, tell them to uh, uh, oppose any reinstatement. And I guess Pennsylvania is the only state that doesn't have an approved budget as yet. So um, they're looking. And so it's very, very important that you give them a call. Robert, are we keeping you up? <laughs> no, no. you got to remember, I get up at 3.30 in the morning. Mm-hmm. So about this time of day, I get uh, a little behind the eight ball, I guess. I'm not getting... But I'm not tired. It's just that my body's saying that uh, normal people are going to sleep about this time. I'm just saying, I'm not, what I'm saying is not boring, is it? <laughs> it's not boring. I'm listening to you and I'm reading at the same time, so anyway, maybe so that's why. Let's go ahead and get to the gold prices today. Gold. Uh, it's about up. time. Uh, hey, hey. We're up. <laughs> hey, these Pennsylvania gold buyers should, should really be making those phone calls, and anyone in this country should be making those phone calls, because I'll guarantee you, it will be one of your states coming up pretty soon. If they're looking for taxes and they see, you know, those states are tax exempt for sales tax, it could be reversed in any one of your states. So it's very important that uh, they did it to Ohio, and I'm sure they've done it to other states too, so it's important. And uh, so we have gold up $2.10 today at nine ninety four eighty. We have silver huh, up $0.10 cents at sixteen twenty six. We have platinum up five dollars at twelve sixty one, and we have palladium up a dollar at two ninety six. So, um, a good day in gold. They tried to hammer it again this morning, uh, pushing it down. The dollar got the dollar got hit, but they're still keeping that above seventy eight. And we have Robert Chapman, the yawner in the background <laughs> of the international <laughs> forecaster. Hi, Bob. <laughs> Oh, it's me in the mist. Are you there? Yeah. (laughs) It's the gorilla in the mist. The gorilla? Gorilla. Mm. Well, anyway, uh, uh, Melody, as usual, is absolutely correct. 
Uh, we were off about uh, 11.20. Um, let, me, let me take it from the top here. Let me pull my prices from 3.30. Um, we were off $8 at 3.30, went to a minus 11.20, went back to even, went back to minus 8.10, and uh, then finished up a couple. And uh, the, uh, the uh, access market, they just had it down around $6, and now it's off seventy. It's been flipping all over the place. But, you know, that's a very, very, very thin market. And our government likes to win that market and make gold and silver go down after the close so they can try to influence people's thinking. And they, they might want to try to brainwash them. The euro and the pound were up slightly on the uh, 3.30 time, and uh, the uh, yen was off a little, and then they all went down, and then they turned around and went back up again against the dollar. And so uh, we had the dollar off, what, 0.21? The dollar's off 0.28 at 78.17. Yeah, the moment of truth is coming next week. Uh, the U.S. government is using, via the Federal Reserve, the swap currencies that they $500 billion they made a swap in. And those swap currencies, <clears throat> those are five major currencies which make five up five of the six um, Components of the USDX index, the dollar index, and uh, so what they're doing is they're using those currencies and they're selling them into the market, and that makes the dollar go up. And so it isn't going to work. The Chinese and everybody else are selling, so it'll break 78 soon. It'll free fall from there, probably to 74 or so. And um, and they're going to do their best to stop it, but they're not going to be very successful. I mean, China's got this enormous program going on. It's um, it's pushing gold and silver on nationwide, national, mm -hmm. government-owned television, and they're telling everybody, "You've got to have your lucky gold card or your lucky silver card, and you get to get out there and buy that gold and silver." because that's the way we're going to become rich and famous. And they're right, actually. And so uh, the drawdown now from China is big, not only from the individuals, but from government as well. So we had a good day today. I don't have the closes in the stocks. Generally speaking, they were all up. And uh, that's a good sign. Uh, silver's unchanged right now. Copper was off a penny. And we got um, gold off a couple of bucks in the access market. Dow looks like it was up 97 points on the day. Absolutely ridiculous. But that's where it is. And those of you uh, who are out there looking at that market, take the second chance to sell. And that's what you're getting. Um, G20 meetings been going on today and go on through the weekend. And uh, they're trying to solve the world's problems. They're talking about pulling back the, the, the amounts of money that they've injected into their economies and uh, starting to move interest rates back up. And uh, I get news for you. The minute they do it, just like they did it in 1936, the whole bottom is going to fall out. And they will beat a hasty retreat as soon as they see the results. And so that's where we're headed. Um, this coming week, we will challenge 1033. We may very well go through it. May, we may go through the following week or maybe a month later, but it's coming. And you can feel it. You can see it. You can smell it. They're on the run. The Illuminati is on the run. And the gold and silver markets in the dollar market, they're barely holding up the bond market. They got lucky in the stock market. 
and that will end soon. And they're going to continue to try to keep things on an even keel, but I don't think they're going to be very successful. Um, there's, there was a great hue and cry this week uh, when our president um, addressed some children at a school, I think it was in Virginia, and uh, the, the parents are furious. And uh, uh, he's supposed to make this uh, nationwide uh, 